Justin and Melissa wanted a lot out of 200 square feet. They want a really nice place for them to live, but they also want it to be the epicenter of this nonprofit. Justin and Melissa, they have a project called Inspire Out, a really cool organization that helps get kids out into the wilderness so that they can appreciate the beauty of this world, you know, care about our planet a little bit. 13 miles these guys walk. Wow. Pretty amazing. Is this everyone's first trip? Yeah. Third. Third trip? So why does everyone keep coming back? Awesome. <laughs> Our big challenge in this one was we didn't have a big budget. We were already starting $5,000 down. They provide a bunch of gear that the kids don't have. They have a garage full of that stuff that we're going to have to somehow fit in this tiny house. OK. I know it, it looks like I worry a lot, and I do a little bit, but with Zach on my team, I'm kind of like, ah, it sounds really hard, maybe even impossible. I'll give it to Zach. He'll figure it out. And he always does. The floor to ceiling storage was really just about creating a space for a lot of gear. These guys have a lot of gear for their business, for themselves. I just wanted to do something that was just occupying that entire space. Oh my gosh, look at this. What Zach came up with using birch plywood, banding it with Brazilian redwood, I mean, it was gorgeous and really smart and inexpensive. So the idea is pull out this pin. Yes! <laughs> you stand side by yes. side, yeah. you know. And then you can cut like Zach cuts. <laughs> what Zach did with the countertops that are gonna roll out using old recycled bikes that he cut down and welded. I mean, who thinks of that? Well, I've been into bicycles for a long time. I build bicycles as a hobby. Why reinvent the wheel when I can just go borrow one from a, you know, a junkyard? I was really proud of the house. You know, I think that it was a very good example of just well done design and layout. And then some of the multifunctional items in the house I think are gonna really help. I'm really, really proud of this house because we did not have a big budget, but what we were able to create not only worked for them, it looked beautiful. That's not easy to do always, and I'll say it, we did it.